Hi there, welcome to Floating in Dreams. Today's video is going to be a lip swatch video with all of the new Essence lipsticks for Spring Summer 2023. Welcome to everybody watching today. Thank you so very much for joining me. If you're into eyeshadow palettes, Essence and Catrice reviews and getting the use out of your makeup the way that I am, then definitely stay tuned because I think this video may be right up your street. I'm going to be swatching out all eight of the new eight hour matte liquid lipsticks by Essence in this video. And I'm also including the new four Tinted Kiss um, Hydrating Lip Tints. That's what these are. And that's what this video will feature. I will have a link to a blog post down below. So if all you wanna see is swatches and what these look like on my lips, I've got you there. But if you wanna see the full review, then that's what this video is all about. And in case you're new here, it may be good to know that I have fair skin with a culture neutral undertone, which greatly skews my makeup preferences. And because I have been buying, trying and reviewing makeup for more than a decade, I also know what I like and have some very strong favorites. So if you're here for the ride and I hope you would like to join the Snow Angel Club by clicking the subscribe button down below. So the way I'm going to be splitting up this video is that I'm first going to be swatching out all eight lipsticks of this new liquid lip that they're doing. And then we're gonna go into the Tinted Kiss because these are lip stains. And once these are on, you can't really take them off. So these do also last, but they take a little, a little bit longer to really dry down. Um, not saying that these are drying in any way, shape or form. Both formulas are incredibly uh, wonderful, but I'll tell you more about it in today's video. So let me first get into the uh, new eight hour matte liquid lipstick. This is what shade one looks like. And there are four shades in the line that make up the nude category that all look identical. And we have like two pinky shades, one more warm toned, the other more cool toned. And then we have like a classic red and like a berry. In the Tinted Kiss line, we get four shades that when you swatch them all look quite identical. And I definitely don't think you need all of these, but I have a favorite shade in this lineup, um, which we'll get to when we get to those. So kicking things off with the eight hour matte liquid lipstick from Essence in shade Cinnamon Spice. Now I already showed you all four shades that are in the first half of this range are quite brown toned and nude. They're not necessarily my favorites, but we do get undertones. So this is the first one. This is the second one, which is a little bit warmer, more yellow toned. Um, then this is more of a beige. And then if I hold the fourth one up, I hope you can see that this is a little bit more rosy. So this is a bit more cool toned. This is a bit more neutral. This is a bit more warm toned and this is more of a brown. So they do do different undertones. So depending on where you're at, um, you can pick your favorite nude up for sure. And we sort of get a similar split in those pinks and those reds are just like a lighter red and a deeper red. Talking about the red, I wore this out. So I wanted to test this formula to see is this just a liquid liquefied lipstick or is this a long wearing liquid lip? And it's definitely falling into the liquid lip category that is more long wearing. It feels like a liquefied lipstick when it first goes on. It doesn't dry down in the classic, like really nasty sense where it sucks all the life out of your lips. These feel still very creamy. They don't really transfer very much, but I do feel that after like four or five hours, the red started to um, like feather a little bit, uh, which is why I wanted to try the red. Um, I personally don't mind that all that much. Um, it stayed in the lips for sure, but the lip line was just a little less sharp throughout the day um, than when I first put it on. Um, but it did stay put all night. Um, I wore it for a good like six hours or so, and um, I had excellent wear. Like the, the red color was still definitely there. It didn't wear off patchy. It didn't look weird. Um, so these are definitely like true, true liquid lipsticks, but comfortable ones. So I wanted to get that out of the way first. So let me first swatch out 01 Cinnamon Spice. That's shade 01 Cinnamon Spice. As you can see, it's a little bit brown toned. I'm wearing a brown t-shirt today, so I think it goes with the overall vibe, but it probably doesn't really go with the eye look. I was hoping that this eye look would be universal enough that I could show off these shades. 
kind of miscalculated that on my point. Um, but yeah, you, just, you can just see this has a little bit of that reddish brown undertone, and that's pretty on so many people. But I feel it kind of clashes a little bit too much with my cooler undertone, which doesn't really work. So this is pretty, but not necessarily for me. I think if you have a warmer undertone, this can be great for you. Shade number two then is the shade Silky Hazelnut, and this is the more yellow toned one. So there are like two warmer shades I feel, and this is okay, but again, not really my favorite. Of these four more nude shade, there is one that I kind of like, but in my opinion, if you have a very cool undertone, you may wanna skip these, um, but they are good nudes depending on what you've got going on naturally. But yeah, this is Silky Hazelnut. So that's what the swatch looks like of Silky Hazelnut, and you can just see that it just pulls a bit more orange, but for some reason it is more flattering on me than the first one, I feel. I feel this goes a little bit better with my overall complexion. It looks a bit nicer on me. I think that if you were looking for that more universally flattering nude, that Silky Hazelnut, I love the name by the way, um, that that's a good contender for like that more like everyday nude that you can just throw out and, you know, throw on and be out the door. Um, that's definitely that kind of color for a lot of people, I think, but not quite right for me. Moving on then to the shade Soft Beige. And this is 03, and this is a lot lighter than the other two shades we've seen so far. It's a little bit more peachy leaning, I would say, uh, compared to the other two. And it has that like stronger yellowish undertone, which is another reason why I don't necessarily love it. So here's what 03 Soft Beige looks like on my lips. And it's not necessarily my vibe. Um, this is a little bit too light for me. It kind of drains me. Um, I'm wearing a bolder eye look today, so then I feel that these lighter lipsticks can still look nice. It's, I think it's the yellow top that actually makes this kind of work, but it's, again, not my perfect sort of nude shade. I personally don't go for nudes that are this light. I just don't. Um, and in real life, like here on the bottom lip, I can see some of the purpliness that I've got naturally going on in my lips coming through. And that's always my issue with lighter nudes because I have pretty strong pigmented lips that are essentially just this color naturally. Um, if I go in with something that's too light and then the undertone is also not really working for my uh, complexion, then it's too much of a clash and then everything just starts to shine through. And I could perhaps correct that with a lip liner, um, or I could, uh, like, I don't know, concealer out my lips before putting on the lipstick. Um, yes, those are all tech like techniques you can use to make that work, um, but I personally don't like putting foundation over my lips because it dries them out too much. Um, and I am, like, I'm, a, I'm an avid lip balm wearer, um, so I don't personally like um, having to do that first. It's also why I don't like lip liner. It's far too drying on my lips and it makes every lipstick just look very crepey on my lips and it really accentuates the lines I've got going on if I go in with a layer that's so dry. So that's why I never use those steps um, in case you were wondering, but yeah. I know I can correct it, but not my vibe. Then finally, in the nude category, we have shade number four, Rosy Nude. And of the nudes, it's got a pinky undertone, so guess what? If I were to pick a favorite nude in this lineup, it would be this one. So this is this is that more like rosy tone nude that if I were to go for a nude, it would be something like this, but I feel it still leans, it's like right on a part of my hand where it doesn't want to swatch, hold on. So it's again quite light, but because it has the pinkiness, it does still work for me, um, but it also has a little bit of peach, which makes it a little bit more of a ro warmer rosy nude. And I just, I just want the cool tones. You, you guys know that about me. So there we have 04 rosy nude. This is pretty, it's okay, but it's not perfect. And that's why I can't like rave about this, but the formula is still lovely between all four of these. 
a really thin, comfortable, at first quite slippy formula. And that slippiness does disappear. As it dries down, you can still like put your lips together and nothing will stick together. It doesn't look like you don't get that powdery feeling that some liquid lipsticks might give you. This is very, very nice and comfortable. And I know people always want to know about scents. These do have a scent, but I don't find them so fragranced that because it's right beneath my nose that I'm even noticing it as they've been on. Like not as they are going on, you really need to stick your, your nose into the doe foot to get the scent. Um, so I don't mind the scent of these because of that reason. More into my vibe kind of get, um, getting more into my vibe kind of territory for sure is 05 pink blush. And this is your average like rosy tone pink. I don't find this too exciting. Um, it's a shade that we see a lot in a lot of different collections, but I do think that this has something to offer if you want that more cool toned look. Um, I feel it's a little bit too much on like the rosy side for it to be a true, true cool tone, but it does have a little bit of blue running to it. Here we have 05 Pink Blush. And you can just see that this kind of livens up my complexion a lot more than any of the other shades we've looked at so far. It's pretty, but these are not the kind of pinks I reach for and then definitely not in a liquid lipstick. So um, if you love this, I think it can be a really pretty one. Um, for a lot of people, it may actually be a really good everyday go-to kind of color. Um, but I find, I don't know, pinks just, I find them a little bit aging. <laughs> Is that a terrible thing to say? Um, I just don't feel it looks like fresh and new. Maybe for the springtime, this is very pretty. I think it's a good spring summer shade, but not a year round staple for me. Um, but yeah, I think this can appeal to a lot of people. If you like your pinks, this line's got a good pink. Moving on then to shade six, Cool Mauve. If it's a mauve and it's cool toned, we know we're gonna love it. Um, and this is my one of my favorite shades in this lineup. Um, Essence has some really nice mauves in their collection right now. And compared to that previous pink, you can just see how much purple this has. It's got a lot of blue, so let me show it. Ta-da! I know what I like. I say it in my intro every single time, but this just, something happens to my face when I wear this. It's so incredibly pretty. Um, I think it really goes very well with the eye look I've got going on today. This is the Natasha Denona Retro. I always list in the description box what else is going on on my face and what top I'm wearing. So if you ever wanna know, all you need to do is, is, is uh, look at that. But yeah, here we have that really nice sort of like purpley, but not quite. Like for me, this is a nude. This is what I would categorize as a nude on myself and it will go with so many things. So this may be one I need to keep around because I love this shade. Moving on to shade 07, this is classic red. And we know how I feel about my classic blue toned reds. They're some of my favorite shades to wear and they always look really pretty. Oh, do you see how it kind of looks far more liquidy than the rest all of a sudden? It didn't do that the first time I tried it. Let me see what it does if I shake it up. Oh yeah, I just had to shake it up for a minute. Some of the oils came through. Do you just see how much more shiny that is compared to the swatch underneath it? Okay, then I know that sometimes you may need to shake these up. I know, I put a red on and it looks nice. I don't think like it's a bit too much with the eyes and the top. Like it doesn't really bridge the gap. So I wouldn't perhaps wear it with this outfit, but this, if you're looking for a good classic red lipstick at the drugstore in a liquid lip formula, this is really nice. Really, really nice. I'm digging this. Like I said, it does start to fade and feather just a little bit if you're wearing it for a few hours. So it's not going to look like this clean around the edges after a while. But then again, I did wear this going out dancing. So I did sweat a bit more than the average person perhaps does in, the, in an entire day. Um, but yeah, this is, you know, definitely something that if you, you know, just eat and drink, um, it's gonna stay, it's gonna stay on and it's gonna look like this ish for like the next four to five hours if you were to decide to keep this on. 
And then the final shade in this matte liquid lipstick formula is the shade 08 Dark Berry. And this is your classic berry, but Essence hasn't done a good berry in a while. So I'm not mad about this shade. I actually think it's nice that they're offering something deeper. A lot of the lines that we've seen in previous years were so sort of lackluster in terms of the shade it offered. And I feel we get a good range here. Like we've got a couple of nudes that really go into different people's undertones. We've got some like pinky tones that, you know, you can wear if you've got a warm tone or a cooler tone. You got your classic red and then you've got something deeper that's a berry. I think that's for an age shade lipstick range. I think that's pretty decent. So I really like this as well. Um, it's a very pretty shade. That's all I can say really. And it definitely has a little bit more purple than, you know, it's not just a straight up like darker red. Definitely has that hint of plum running through it, making it a true, true berry. And I think this is very, very pretty too. <laughs> really, really pretty. Um, it's got that depth. And I think this actually goes a bit better with the entire look than the classic red I just showed you. This is just, it has that hint of plum, which makes it go with the eye look really, really well. Like this for a Christmas party is a look. It's a look. I love it. Um, and this is just a really pretty shade as well. Um, like I already mentioned, the shade range on this collection I think is pretty decent. It's gonna give something for everyone here, uh, like I felt about the Catrice. And we haven't seen Essence do anything this nice in a while, I feel. Like their lipstick lines have either been too, too strongly scented or these shades weren't that exciting. Like the past couple of rounds, I wasn't super impressed with it, but I have to say, these new eight matte, like eight hour matte liquid lipsticks, they're good. They're good lipsticks at a super affordable price point. The only thing that might set these back for some people is that they're a liquid lip formula. And I know that everybody likes that, but that's again why I have to reiterate that these are comfortable matte liquid lipsticks. They are not too drying on the lips. They don't feel powdery. You can still move around. It feels like a very flexible formula, if anything. So if you're looking for a good liquid lip that feels like a regular lip, matte lipstick, but wears like a liquid lip, then this has the best of both worlds. And at this price point, I think you can't beat it. Now we're going to go in with the Tinted Kiss um, hydrating lip tints. Like I said, these are lip stains. So these will stain your lips, which is why I'm going to be very careful with these. But these do look quite similar. Like we've got three shades that is ex essentially look like the same thing. They do stain slightly differently, but I felt when I already tried these, like I already swatched everything before I sat down to film this video, that these on the lips didn't make a whole lot of a difference. And this, had a very strange orange tint, but one of these is really, really pretty on. So that I'm going to recommend to a lot of people who like their mauves because there's another cool tone mauve in this. Um, so we have a pink, a mauve, a coral, and what is this called? Chili chill. So it's like a chili orange kind of shade. So let me just start with shade number one, pink and fabulous. And this looks like a very bright Barbie pink. Um, it, these almost look like a bit neon when you swatch them. I'm not sure if you can tell. And these are very thin and liquidy, but they are very hydrating. That's very true, which is perhaps why it's good that I'm ending on this note because taking off eight lipstick kind of dries out your lips. So let me put it on so you can see what the shade looks like. So this is what Pink and Fabulous looks like. It's a pretty shade. Is it my shade though? It goes on like super intense, almost Barbie pink. But then as you can see, it shears out. And that's something you need to know about this formula. Yes, it's hydrating. Yes, it stains, but it's a very sheer thin formula. I think you need to go in with several layers to get to pay off, the color payoff to be like this. It's a very cool toned blue tone pink. So that's something you gotta like. On me, this looks really pretty. But I think if your lips have a different undertone, they may this may not look that great on you, precisely because it is so thin. 
you could see it like almost like shearing out and it's definitely just a lip tint. And that's why I'm very interested to see where they got the inspiration from with this formula. I'm suspecting they're trying to dupe some K-beauty brands because lip tints are all the rage in the world of K-beauty. And I actually have a couple of packages arriving hopefully soon where I've ordered some of these K-beauty lip tints to try out because if we're seeing these kind of things in the Western makeup market, I wanna be able to test it against some of the OG formulas that are very pop popular in K-beauty to see if it is indeed the sort of similar thing. So this feels very watery on the, on the lips. It's watery thin. And then you just get this sheer wash of color. And then maybe if I take it off. You can see that there's still something there. My favorite shade in the bunch is Moveless. Mo is that really what it's called? Yeah, it's a mauve. <laughs> <laughs> which is why I love it. This also, I felt, looked the best on me when it's stained. Like, look at the doe foot. It looks neon. So this is what it looks like in the swatch. On the doe foot, it looks almost neon. Let's look at what this looks like on the lips. So I definitely feel that with shade two, Moveless, I do sort of get that more vibrancy that you see on the doe foot coming through than what it necessarily looks like in the swatch. I feel that the overall shade looks like this, but there are areas of the lip where it's almost like translucent, brightening. It's insane. I don't know how they got it to do this, but it looks like you're wearing more than one color on your lips. And that's not because I just swatched another lipstick underneath it. That's definitely the effect that this color gives on my lips, which is why I'm really happy with this. And this, it keeps having that slip. It feels like lip balm, but there's going to be a stain even when you blot it down, when this wears throughout the day. And I haven't been able to test these for wear time, unfortunately, but this is a really, really good shade too, I think. Like if you have your cool undertone, you'll love your mauves. This is pretty. And I think this one, you can see the staining effect a little bit better. Like even my, even though I'm using a makeup wipe to take these off, you can sort of see, especially here, that it stays put. One of the reasons why I haven't wor worn these yet, like for a full day, is because lip stains usually only stain my bottom lip, but not my top lip. My top lip usually stays the same color, which is very annoying. This is Coral Colada number three. And this is like your peachy shade. It's a little bit lighter. It's definitely pretty. But as you will see when I take these off, the stain on them isn't that unique. Like it's not that different. So this is Coral Colada. And I really feel that with this one, you can really see the color really well. It is light. It is thin. It's still that very sheer formula but I feel that this does definitely look like a coral on me. However, I'm not a huge fan of corals. <laughs> this, as far as corals go, I think this is a very pretty one, but mm, this is not necessarily my, my shade, but this, I think for the summertime, this, these are so much fun. Like this with like very minimal makeup by the pool. Can you just, this, it, it's a look. I definitely think it's a look and the formula is, so interesting on these, like, and not interesting in a bad way, but like interesting in a good way. I've never found a lip product yet that does this and it's Essence. And I'm like, Essence, I'm super impressed with these. More and more stain happening. I still have this one, the shade four, Ch Chili and Chill. I had to read that three, three times for it to make sense. And this, in the grand scheme of things, it just looks like such a weird shade. And on me, when I first put it on, I didn't love it, but the stain is really pretty. So this, mm, it's okay. It's the most intense one for sure, color-wise, but this this color like it's pretty let's let's start there it is a pretty shade but i feel it looks a little bit 
off and that's because it's very warm toned. <laughs> yeah, if this had a little bit more, perhaps like if this was more red leaning, it would like, I would have probably liked it better, but it's just a bit too much of an orange for it to really go with my complexion. But I think if you have a warm undertone, you may really love this one. Quick, I've quickly popped the mauve shade back on just to be able to round up the video. So let me see if I take these off, how that goes. They've disappeared. This is weird. I'll insert the picture of what it looks like in the, in the stain because these do stain <laughs> for sure. When I took pictures of them, when I first watched them, it was instant. Like within, I only had them on my skin for five seconds and there was a stain. And now they've been on there for a few minutes and they've disappeared, but they definitely do stain. So I'll make sure to pop the picture up on the screen. I think that both, let me hold up my two favorite shades from these. I think that these two new lines from Essence are really, really good. I think they're, they did a good job. These are formulas that are really good, not just at a drugstore price point, but if I compare it to other lipsticks I have in my collection, these are just really, really good. Find your shade, and I think you're gonna be really happy with what both of these lines have to offer. Like I said, this uh, Tinted Kiss Lip Tint has really, has me wondering like, hey, did you take inspiration from K-Beauty? So that's why I will be sort of trying a couple of those tints out to see if I like the formula in a similar matter. I'm just going to be wearing this one throughout the day today. And this is a really nice liquid lipstick formula. It's thin, but comfortable. It does dry down. It wears for a good number of hours, but it's not too, too drying on your lips and it really doesn't like feel unpleasant at all. So. Essence has done a really good job again. We've got some interesting shades here. Could they perhaps expand more, uh, like expand more and be a bit more adventurous? I think so. I've, I mean, we've seen Catrice do these like magenta shades now, which I love. So I wish Essence would also be a bit more adventurous with the shades, but that's the only reason why I would like knock, like, uh, knock them down a touch, but that's not because these are bad products. They're really stunning formulas. And if you can find your shade in them that you like, I think you will have a really, really nice lipstick that you can, you know, use for a long time to come. So that's it for me for today. Thank you so very much for joining me. These were the Essence lipsticks for 2023. Other Essence and Catrice lipsticks, um, other Essence and Catrice uh, reviews from the new spring summer collection are currently being worked into the blog as we're going over things. I still have a Catrice lips like lip gloss swatch video coming to you in March. And then after a few months of trying these products, if I feel I have a good enough feel for the entire range, I come back on here to give you a full lowdown on the full collections. But yes, these lipsticks, raving review. So, so thank you so very much for joining me. Thumbs up the video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more by me. And then I hope to see you in my next video very, very soon. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.